Before starting this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. Now in this video, I'll be uh, telling you what all you need to like study for at least 40 marks means you will be answering one question from each module. And uh, this is just for the persons who have no idea like uh, have not prepared anything at all. Okay, so there are a few questions which are repeated more than eight times in the previous year papers. And uh, from one module, like there are four, uh, three or four questions. Okay, like you can't miss that one and uh, i bought that we'll be going through that and uh, this is just a brief overview of the video the detailed answers link i'll be providing in the description box as well as the solutions uh, as in the notes what are the solutions like the official notes that uh, pdf will also be provided so i'll be telling you what all you need to write and if you want to know how to write and remember the things and if you want the explanation regarding that what's the um, detailed answers video link okay in that i have explained how to write and remember the answers okay so let's get started with the module one in the module one these are the six questions which you need uh, which you can't miss uh, before going to externals and study at least four questions among them okay the main two topics are the first one is the web okay in the web there are http and smtp ftp these three things these three things carry a lot of weight okay if you study these three things easily you can score more than 10 marks and the last one is the uh, dns okay in dns also it's uh, repeated a lot of time like more than eight times it's repeated if you uh, get to know the three things about dns the first one is what are the services offered by dns what is the record system of dns and what is the message format of dns you can easily score more than 15 marks 90 percent probability that you can score more than 50 uh, more than 15 marks from this module okay so uh, let's discuss what, what, what all you need to write in http messages and http request and response message this is about the http okay in the http these are the two questions so uh, for the messages uh, what you are supposed to write is see the overview first you have to write okay just uh, don't start with the messages because you won't get much uh, much more information to write okay so first you need to write what is http what it consists of you can go through these points here it just mentioned that it's uh, using html and there are hostname and path name <clears throat> after you have written that you have to start with the http like uh, client requests the web pages from the servers and server transfers the web pages to the clients then make this diagram that's about the overview of http okay after that you have to start with the message format the message format are of two types request message and response message now you have to draw, uh, draw, uh, draw this diagram for both um, request and the response message and how do you uh, write these uh, points and what are the things you need to write that i have explained in the detailed answer video okay this is all about the first two questions it can come for eight marks what are the http request and response message formats okay moving on to the second question which is about the persistent and non-persistent the uh, difference is very simple like in the notes it's uh, a few points only that only you have to write uh, means elaborating it okay so how do you write is that first you'll write what is persistent and uh, what is persistent means once a connection is made it will not be like uh, stopping for each different uh, transfer of the images it will be like one connection for all the transfers okay whereas non-persistent means for each uh, transfer it will be a new connection okay that's all the differences about the persistent and non-persistent after that write a few information regarding these things okay what is persistent write a detailed information and what is non-persistent write uh, this information and uh, there is a question which is repeated a lot of times like uh, fetching the 10 jpeg images from the um, web page okay so uh, for that uh, the answer is in the notes itself you just have to make this diagram HTTPs. Uh, this one how the <coughs> initialization of the connection and the request of the file and the time to transfer those things you have to write and um, yeah that's all after that you have to write how much time it took okay so that was about the persistent and uh, non-persistent okay the next important question is about the smtp what is the difference between smtp and http there are just three differences which you need to keep in mind the first one uh, is the http is a pull protocol smtp is a push protocol and um, smtp has the seven bit ascii format http doesn't have this restriction and http encapsulates the object in its own response message and smtp places all uh, messages into one object okay these are three differences but you have to elaborate it and write okay that was about the smtp and http a very important one and the next one is uh, write a note on ftp and discuss about the ftp comments and replies first you have to give a brief information about what is ftp first tell me what is ftp file transfer protocol so uh, write what it is how the connection is established data is transferred how the connection is broken okay after that the commands and replies these are some uh, keywords about the command these are the commands and these are the replies okay 
so that was about the ftp and the last question which is important is explain the services offered by dns also explain the dns record and message format so in that uh, the services provided by dns go through it these are the services and um, these are the three uh, four things here uh, so there were four things i guess so host aliasing mail server aliasing load distribution and one more is there i have written in the notes you can go through that and this is the overview of how dns works this is the uh, structure if they ask the structure this is how the dns operation works the queries how they interact with each other like what question they ask specifically that topic answer you have to write okay and these are the records and messages and this is the finally the message format write this and explain each of these um, fields here okay so th that information is also here you can go through it okay so that's all about uh, module one you have these uh, questions here the main two topics are http smtp and uh, ftp okay if you uh, get thorough with these uh, three topics as well as the dns servers you can easily score more than 15 marks okay there's 90 percent probability for that so uh, that was about module one even if you score just one question proper in this one you can get eight to ten marks right so let's move on to the next module which is uh, module two here let me give you the overview what you are uh, to keep in mind first is tcp okay about tcp there are two questions here and after that uh, it is about uh, rdt and 2.0 is the most repeated one okay and uh, question three is about the multiplexing and demultiplexing the connection oriented okay and after that this is the numerical which is repeated more than eight times and uh, this one about udp it's repeated less times but you can go through it if you uh, get over the five questions above and uh, select either of these go back and on uh, selective repeat even if you don't uh, look at this it's okay uh, you can uh, if you are thorough with the above questions okay so let's uh, discuss the first one which is about the tcp segment structure and its uh, services so what is tcp tcp means trans uh, transmission control protocol okay so here in tcp it's a reliable one and uh, you'll be writing a brief information regarding that and how is the connection established this is the features of tcp if there are the services you have to write this one okay and after that um, this is the segment structure very important one you have to write this and explain each each of these field for each of these field explanation you will get one mark okay so uh, like for eight marks it is asked right so for each field you will get one mark so make sure you go, uh, go through it and uh, if you more, want more information i have already explained in the other video i'll, I'll put the link uh, below okay and uh, that was about the uh, tcp segment structure so uh, for segment structure write this one for features or services write this one and the last one is connection management means how uh, the handshaking property works for this you have to write this one connection setup and data transfer first step second step is connection release in between that make this diagram and explain okay so that was about the two questions uh, regarding tcp explain the th uh, three-way handshake and uh, the first one tcp segment structure okay and uh, the next one is uh, what is uh, the connection oriented multiplexing and demultiplexing you can write this from your own words also so i'll not be discussing on this one but the answer is there in the pdf okay you can go through it and the next one is the rdt 2.0 protocol this uh, this one uh, in the notes it is given like this if you can understand you can write I, or else also i'll put a link where i have explained a simpler diagram you can memorize that and write that as well in that uh, fsm is also there so see which uh, is suitable for you you can go th uh, go for that and the next one is about uh, this question okay make sure you solve this question pakka and go okay 106 120 you have to find estimated rtt and uh, drtt okay so these two things i have uh, solved here as well as, as uh, explained in the video so you can go through that and uh, make sure you solve this um, without fail okay and uh, the next one is this is like uh, repeated a few times <coughs> and you can go through it as well it's very easy make the udp stru uh, segment structure the first step explain each of these data fields okay after that explain how the checksum works okay that's all and the uh, next one is the uh, go back end protocol and uh, selective repeat that also i'll try to put the link in the description box if i have uh, explained it somewhere but uh, if you go through the above six topics then you can skip uh, skip it okay only when you go through the above six topics pakka okay moving on to the module three this is the most important one ipv6 after that rip protocol okay there are many other questions also but i'm just telling the most important uh, ones okay ipv6 and rip protocol after that the distress algorithm the same uh, diagram is asked many times and this answer is also there in the notes okay i've put the uh, in the solution in the pdf okay and uh, bro uh, broadcast routing algorithms there are three nv unicast spanning tree based and the center based approach so anyone you have to explain among them this is also very much a repeated one and the last one is what is routing and the routing architecture this is a very simple one you can learn this first okay so let's now uh, discuss one uh, one by one ipv6 datagram and format see how simple it is you just have to draw the diagram okay this is about the uh, go back and, and selective repeat you can go through it and uh, the next one is the ipv6 just make this diagram here explain each field you can easily get eight marks okay 
that was about the uh, IPv6. This is the, about the RIP protocol. Okay, routing information protocol. Just uh, write what it is and what its limitation. And after that, make this diagram. It also uses the table. So write. Uh, make sure you write about the table as well. Table is just used as the reference. Okay. And after that, there are uh, the message formats, uh, response message and request message. And yeah, that's all uh, what you need to write in RIP. After that, the link state algorithm. How to memorize this one? I have explained in the other video. I'll put the link in the description box. And this is the same question. See. This is the same one okay so make sure you uh, get thorough with this one and uh, go before externals okay so that was about the um, dixtras algorithm comparatively among the belmont uh, belmanford and dixtras you will either get or option and um, this one is the most repeated one so i put this one okay belmanford is also equally important okay and about the um, <coughs> this one Broadcast routing algorithms, different uh, algorithms, right? This one explain any one of them. In that, what you have to write is first write what is the broadcast meaning. Broadcast means what? Broadcasting means uh, from one to many, okay? From a source node to all other nodes. That uh, that's what uh, you have to write in the definition. After that, there are three um, ways: n-way unicast. This is the first one, and uh, the second one is a spanning tree broadcast, and the third one is center-based approach. Okay. These three methods explain any one of them. Okay. <clears throat> After that, what is routing? Routing we all know. Finding out the best uh, path uh, and the optimal path, uh, cost-effective path to reach uh, from the source to destination. That's all. What is routing and what are the goals of routing? Also, you can write by your own. And the routing architecture very important. Make this diagram. There are four things here: input port, switch fabric, routing processor, and output port. Explain each of these. Go through these points and remember. Okay. That's all. What uh, is the most important one in module three? Coming to module four, it's very simple. First, either choose RSA or Diffie-Hellman. In that both, I have explained with an example. Uh, means what all you need to write and how do you remember the algorithm so you can go through it I'll put the link in the description box this is about the difficult man choose either of these okay because both uh, it's impossible that they ask both RSA and difficult man in one question only. obviously or will come so uh, be pakka with uh, one of these okay and after that in any of those question it might uh, they might include DES also because it's repeated a lot of times okay DES data encryption standard okay so you just have to explain what is a data encryption standard and what are the steps involved in it and what are the formulas okay so you can go through it and for the detailed answer click the link in the dis uh, description box okay that was about the ds and uh, there is a problem in ds if they ask that also uh, means this this is the only problem which is like asked in all question papers okay when they have asked this question okay so make sure you solve this one and know how it uh, works okay so these are the two questions either choose rsa and diffie hellman and after that, uh, solve DES, okay. After that, there are many other uh, topics like uh, this will be helpful for you. Make sure with uh, both of these, you can score uh, like 10 marks for that. And if you want more marks uh, in the module four, then uh, go through these topics, okay. I'll put the uh, link in the description box uh, regarding each of these uh, explanations, okay. Coming to module five, there are th uh, three topics which are important and three topics which are normal, okay. Like properties of audio and video, I've put here the content what you need to write. It's very simple, you can write in your own words, what are the properties of uh, audio and video. Like audio is uh, transferred uh, and uh, the uh, transition takes place like the encoder and decoder and all. And the properties of video, it's high bit rate, it can be compressed and uh, different uh, frame uh, speeds are also there. So uh, those are the things, okay. So that uh, what you have tried in the properties of audio and video, very important one, okay. And the next one is the dash, okay. There are actually three things like uh, VOIP, dash and uh, http okay among that dash is very important adaptive one okay so make sure you go through it and uh, write the key points in it okay <clears throat> and uh, the last one is the cdn cdn is very very important then uh, they can ask a case study also nothing you have to do just um, if they ask the case study if you know this working just change the names okay that's all what you have to do if they ask the case study also and cdn is very very important i'm repeating a lot of times okay make sure you pakka solve this one and go okay keep this all uh, key, uh, key points in mind and uh, that's all for the module 5 and the uh, remaining topics which are important are like normal important are uh, rtp and sip if you can uh, do that as well interleaving and categories of multimedia okay